This video demonstrates how to make an advanced Excel budget template. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel to see wonderful videos from today. And also, you can check out my previous video on the quickest Excel budget template that you can make. So you have your Excel opened and we want to go in and start writing our heading. So you have month and then you can go in for category. So once you have this, let's, let's make them sizable. You want to select maybe up to 40. You can actually do it to the end of the sheet and let's just customize. Make sure you select the, um, you, you select this box. But before we start with date, just select the date and then right click and go to format cells then choose date also you, there are so many different formats for date but i want to go with this one and then we want to start just type 01 2022 and you can drag it up to 40. so what this does is it goes through january 1 to february but you can go on, it doesn't matter, you can keep dragging it down. And in case you have, you had more expenses, you can also come in and just insert and then just type, let's say, the month in here. So control Z to undo. So the next is the month. We want to have the month and we want to keep it automated. We don't want to keep typing the month. So what we're gonna do here is just type equal to, then text. Okay, and then type A2, which is just selecting the first date. And then you wanna um, go for four M's and then close. So you have January, so it's just selecting January. And then if it's February, once it's two, it's gonna be February. In case you just edit, you change this to three, this one is going to change to March. So control Z to bring it back. So that is typically what we do for the month. Then the category, this is probably the biggest one. So here you want to choose or pre choose some categories where you then have descriptions. An easiest example is let's say gas, but then during the course of the month, you might go to Wawa, you might go to Shell, you might go to Exxon Mobile. But we also have a dashboard where if you choose gas, you can see your total expenses for gas during that month. And that is something cool to have. So to do that, typically if you are doing it up to the end or to much lower cell number, you just select everything, hit control, and then deselect the heading, and then just, just edit from here. But since we have from 2 to 40, you're just going to start from 2, drag it to 40, and then come to data, and then data validation, then data validation. So for data validation, you can allow a whole host of stuff, but we want to go with list, and under list, we are going to type what categories that we want to set. So we have income, entertainment. Then we will have, let's say, um, daycare, we'll have food, we'll have um, loans, we'll have um, electricity, we'll have um, mortgage, we can also have insurance um, we can have let's say gas we can have TV slash internet we can keep it that simple you can keep it that simple and then just hit OK so what this does is anytime you come into the category section, you can just come in and 
click the drop down and choose one of these to pre-fill and that is something very cool to have so from this point i'm going to quickly fill in these two and do some duplications and you can follow suit or you can start making your own budget from here So once you have something pre-filled, um, the next is your um, dollar sign. So it's your income expense balance. So you want to select this, these three, just come in and then go to home and select the dollar sign. Once you have an income, type in an income. And then if you have an expense, you type in an expense. Let's assume your starting balance is $5,000. You also had a paycheck. So let's assume your paycheck was also 5,000 for that week. And then we can even add another income. So income, and let's say someone gifted you, so you had a gift. So someone gave you a gift of 500, right? Then you come to your expense. So let's say you spent 50 here. This also forms your expense so you have your income and your expense now for your balance your starting balance is just going to be you can just type equal to and then just type this hit enter um the so it's just going to be equal to but it's picking up the rest so you can just select this and hit delete you want to know the remainder of the balance after every expenditure so this is your starting balance so you want to come in and just type equal to then you have some and then you can start with your starting balance plus your income minus your expense close and hit OK so once you have this you can then drag it you can then drag it to um, this point so this shows how much balance you have after every expenditure. So this is how to have that robust budgeting tool, which is automated. So all you have to do is just select some of the categories that you pre-chose. So let's say you come in, you can go to McDonald's and then maybe you spend 50 bucks. So it automatically changes. This is the part one. The second part is your dashboard because Sometimes this can be clumsy if you if you go up to September, October, it's, it's pretty clumsy. You can actually filter as well. So you can just filter January, filter February and beyond. But you want to have a little dashboard here where you can have some oversight. So for instance, we can just type, let's say January for a month and then go to income. So this is going to help us track some of the categories because for instance, if I have this up to December and I want to track what I spent on gas, I can actually just filter gas um, from this. But this dashboard can also help you visualize things easily. So you can come in and then type, let's say, income. If you want to see how much you're spending. Um, every month so which is per January on on any of these categories so to do this you come in 
and then you start with equal to and then we are going to start with uh, uh, if so you type if then you come to income so you're saying that if your income is not equal to an empty space so this symbol here is not equal to then this two is an empty space so if if it's not equal to an empty space then it means you you have this one or if you drag it down you can have this one you can have this one so if it's not equal to an empty space then you have an income right so you want to add income together so what you're going to do is we're going to do also a sum if statement um with a sum if you're going to select here and then go into um, your month and then choose the month that you want to extract and then go to category and then choose the category you want to extract and then hit enter um, close parenthesis and then what we want to do is also another sum if so that is our full statement so if it's not false we want to come to expense and add it together so what we are going to do here is just go with some if statement and then we are going to choose our expense and then we're going to choose the month choose the month that we need and then we are going to choose the category and then we are going to choose the category that we need and then close it one last thing that we want to do is to lock the January so you want to come in and lock uh, the January because you need it locked you can let it run down so you hit enter so you see here that your total income so we want to drag it down and then how much you spent on entertainment was 360 so if you come in here and then you filter entertainment it should be able to give you 360 for the month of january um, you can also come in and then just type february and hit enter and because we don't have anything under february it shows in here but if we just copy let's say this one here and then probably paste it here let's see paste okay and come up you see february changes and the only income was 500 so that is how automated it is um but we want to go back to january and hit enter so january it shows you for every category like gas um you spent a total of 90 but this list could be longer so this will be a nice way to shorten things for yourself and this formula here is it's not difficult to understand once again it means every time you can highlight the if first so it says what is the logic so the logic is that which is this is our logic the logic is that um if i start with income and there is no empty space um which is this then i'm going to start doing a true statement so if i have um, numbers rather than empty spaces then what is true so true i want to do an if if some some if statement um so for this one what it means is that um i want to add this column that is the first one but i want to sort by month so i came in here and i sorted by the month which was january and I also want to sort by category so I chose the whole category and I sorted by a category um, and I did same for expense for the false statement and that works lastly we also want to add some conditional formatting to make it more interesting so what that means is we can select let's say January you can come into home conditional formatting and then you can choose um let's say say a solid fill so you can then come back to your conditional formatting and manage rules now because this is already here you can choose this 
so what type do you want we want numbers right because it's 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 in amount we want numbers so what's your minimum value let's let it be zero so income for that month should be zero and then what should be your maximum so you can also predetermine your maximum income um let's assume i think for this one it was thousand and um 500 but let's assume your maximum is fifteen thousand. okay and then hit okay so what this does is it gives you like a green to so you means for the month you haven't really hit your target yet right and then you can also do same for expenditure so you can set your max for expenditure and this will tell you that hey maybe at january 15th and you've already been through what you've allocated for entertainment so for instance um you can do let's say color scheme um let's do sorry um we can do red for this one so and go back to conditional formatting manage rules and then you can choose okay so you see you're almost there you can do it for all of them and then it makes the um it makes everything um, easy and um, easy to manage and edit so for daycare for instance you can come into number and make this um, zero and then go to max and make it let's say a thousand and hit enter and then you can do same for for pretty much for all of it um, so what what you do is you just come in and then you can change it for for all of it um once you set um your colors you can also go for like gradient fill and other and other types of um other types of fills and that will that will be helpful so once you're done with this let's assume this is your dashboard so what you can do is just come in and um, you can also just make this a nice so you put in category and pretty much you're done